Hey, it's Dr. Dunaway with Cairo Strength, and there's going to be a three-part series for active recovery and maintenance for runners specifically, and we're going to first talk about soft tissue work. Now, I got a yoga tune-up ball, which is just a little bit more squishy than a, than a uh, uh, lacrosse ball, words, um, and I, whether it's a tennis ball or a racquetball, just something that gives a little bit, because I use this for the bottom of the feet, um, and then I got a foam roller, and uh, with soft tissue work, people either completely neglect it or they spend way too much time doing this. And what I want you to use these tools for, I want you to use them as preparation for your mobility routine because a tight muscle doesn't have good blood flow, it's not gonna stretch well, it's not gonna contract well, and if once we can reestablish re good blood flow into these muscles by putting some pressure, mechanical pressure over the muscles, uh, it, we will we'll get better results with our own mobility. And so uh, I start with the, the soft ball, the tennis ball uh, or the racket ball, and we're going to go to the bottom of the foot. And I'm just going to put pressure on the bottom of the foot in a, in a way like I talk about mowing the lawn. So I start at the, underneath the big toe and I come down and go back up in this kind of grid pattern back up. And, and all I'm doing is I'm not rolling, I'm just putting pressure. So I'll stand on this ball and combined both feet I'm going to spend about 60 to 90 seconds with this, put a little pressure, move the ball, put a little pressure, move the ball, and work that in that grid pattern on both feet for about 60 to 90 seconds. The bottom of the feet take a big, big beating with running and most people neglect it. That is probably number one on my list from a standpoint of body maintenance is get to the bottom of those feet. Um, now I move on to the foam roller. You can use trigger point work if you find a really tender spot in any of these muscles. But again, I spend about 60 to 90 seconds on the calves, 60 to 90 seconds on the quads, 60 to 90 seconds on the hamstrings. And as I'm doing this, I will go back and forth where you do one at a time or whether you do both. And just, if I'm doing my right calf right here, I might just find a tender spot, roll over like this. I'll feel some strands of muscle going back and forth, kind of compressing over that tissue. But all I'm trying to do, again, is rehydrate it so when I do my mobility routine in the next video, I'll respond much better to it. Uh, there's a couple things with the hip. I see a lot of people getting the posterior hip like this on the foam roller, which is great, and kind of, again, rolling back and forth on some of those tender areas. But don't forget the front of the hip. Where the pocket is, we got to get to a muscle called the TFL. And if we can rehydrate this tissue, it's usually very tight, especially if you have IT band issues. So it's been about... 30 seconds on each one, kind of going back and forth, uh, kind of where your, your pocket's at, all the way up to the top of the hip, kind of down uh, to where that hand goes in the pocket. So we're talking about an area that's about from here to here, all the way down to this area. So that's going to be my foam rolling techniques. Um, just a word of the wise real quick. Don't foam roll your IT band. Really, I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a tendon of a muscle, the TFL and glute med. Um, and, and that tendon doesn't have good blood flow, you're not going to rehydrate that tendon. What you're really working at doing is focusing on the quad because the uh, vastus lateralis is the lateral quad muscle, and that quad muscle spans the entire uh, IT band, meaning that IT band runs down the leg, and on top of the IT band is the vastus lateralis, on the bottom of the IT band is the vastus lateralis. So when that quad muscle is contracting, that IT band needs to slide over it, and you're not going to do that by compressing those two tissues on top of each other. Work on the quad, and then for the IT band issues, we'll talk about stability of the hips and mobility of the hips, which is where most of your improvement is going to come from. So with the foam rolling aspect, take care of those issues, or take care of those areas, and don't spend too much time thinking about rehydrating those tissues. And then in the next video, we'll talk about the mobility training that needs to uh, proceed that.